Well, the project was indeed Love Island Malta, a franchise which is owned by ITV. A new reality show, first of its kind, you could say, to the local industry. And we uh, needed a lot of different equipment, actually. A lot of which was not readily available here in Malta, at least in the numbers that we needed. So very quickly, we needed to find a supplier, a partner who could help us bring all the equipment we needed together. So deciding on Avantech was quite a natural decision. They were very supportive all through the quoting stage and even when we were discussing the technical details, answering all the frequently asked questions that we had. One of the things that they did appreciate the most was the efficiency and how quick they were able to turn around the need for our equipment. When we ordered the cameras, they got extra cameras in stock. So if after installation we saw that we needed more equipment, we could have it here ready available for us here in Malta. It was a lot of equipment, a lot of investment, a lot of time and energy went into this. So to us, efficiency was key. But I think the show turned out pretty well. I mean, a recent survey that was conducted showed that 93% of the population were watching between the age of 16 and 25. And I think one statistic that really meant a lot to me is the fact that 44% of the people watching would not normally choose to watch local television. For someone who's been working in the industry for a while, not that long, but long enough, but someone who's definitely very passionate about the industry, which is nothing for the best for the local industry, that statistic was something that made me and I think the whole team very happy. Media Exclusive invested in 25 Canon PTZ cameras that were installed in different areas in Dol and Outdoor, like in the bedroom, makeup room and pool area and they were controlled using a joystick and a touchscreen equipment from the control room. In our case, we also had doubled the setup. So for the same set of cameras, we had two joysticks that were operating the cameras, so we could follow two stories simultaneously. I mean, as you can imagine, there are different challenges when you are trying to produce a show like this. From a technical standpoint, the cameras itself would definitely need to be placed in different areas to make sure you're covering the whole reality. The main feature would be the built-in and the filters, which were crucial for us, especially towards mid-June, when the sunlight was very strong in the afternoon, so we could control the picture quality using the built-in and the filters. So indeed, it is a reality, it is real. You don't have control of where the people are going to go, when they're going to decide to say things which means that you need to really make sure that your cameras are covering a lot of angles, a lot of different wide angles. You need to make sure your cameras have a good zoom lens so you can be able to use one camera to get a lot of different shots. The look of the final show was crucial to us, of utmost importance. We had high standards that we needed to adhere to. We had high expectations that we needed to reach. And at the end of the day, we are working with a massive franchise and we were not ready to let anyone down. Avantech's support didn't just stop at the delivery stage, but they followed up with us throughout the installation and production process to make sure that we were happy with the service and equipment provided. These cameras, they were used a lot, 24 hours a day, for an approximate eight-week period. So they were well tested, let's just say that.